I want to give you a tool today that I think is going to be really helpful. It's going to help you in your relationships. It's going to help you professionally with your boss, the people that you work with. Maybe it's people that report to you. It's just a great tool. It's an acronym and it's the word aware. And it's the five things that all of us need to be aware of because these five things affect all the people around us. In fact, I like to say that these five things ultimately affect the level of trust that people have with us. And if you remember how I've, how I've defined trust in the past, trust is the degree to which people believe that you're for them. It's that simple. Trust is the degree to which people believe that you are for them. So we've got to be aware of some things because these five things, in fact, will impact people in terms of how much they believe we are for them. So here we go. The first letter in aware is A, and that word stands for your actions. Our actions obviously impact the people around us. And to the degree that my actions negatively impact people, it's going to negatively impact their trust for us because they're not going to believe that we are for them. So first of all, we've got to be aware of our actions. We can't mindlessly go through our days not thinking about how we come across to people. Secondly is our words. Your words matter. The way you say your words, the tone in which you use your words, the actual words themselves matter because people are listening to everything that we say and the way that we say it, and it has a drastic impact in how people feel. And how people feel is gonna affect what, what and how much they trust of us. So you got your actions, you've got your words. Thirdly, you got your attitude. Our attitude has a great impact on the people around us. If it's negative, if it's critical, if it's sour, if it's cynical, all of those kinds of attitudes are going to impact the people around us. And it's gonna affect the degree to which they trust us because of our attitudes, uh, as opposed to having a really positive attitude, a hopeful attitude, an attitude that people are around It makes them wanna be around you. So we've got your actions, your words, your attitudes. R stands for our reactions. All of us react, we're human beings. But the way you react is very revealing to people. So we've got to be very, very capable of managing our reactions. That we don't suddenly, impulsively do something, say something, yell, get angry, burst out in some way that our actions now impact negatively the people around us. So we've got to have the ability to control those emotional impulses, which now leads to the fifth letter, E, and that is our emotions. Our emotions are different than our attitudes. They're connected but different. Our emotions can truly have an impact on the people around us. So we've got to be able to keep our emotions in check. Look, we're not always walking around happy and just kind of bouncing around all the time. You might be really sad sometimes. And that's okay, but you can't go around being sad everywhere you go to everybody. You might have the emotion of being angry really frustrated and irritated. You gotta be very careful with where you display that emotion of anger. There might be some select people you can do that with, but you gotta be able to contain that and make sure it doesn't spread out everywhere all around you. So your emotions, if they're negative, can truly uh, make it difficult for people to trust you because they just don't know where you're at that day. If you've ever met that moody, emotional person, it makes it very uncomfortable. It's very tenuous on how you should approach them on that particular day. So that's it, being aware. Your actions, your words, your attitudes, your reactions, and your emotions. If you can keep those things in check and actually display a very positive and constructive use of those five things, then trust will grow because people will believe that you are for them and they frankly just enjoy being around you. Take this tool, I think it could be a great help to you both personally and professionally.